way. Uh -huh. You have to sit down and, and oh, welcome. My name is Obendako. Today I want to share with you steps in building a business or steps in starting your business or growing your business. Um, if you look at our country, especially a lot of our young men and women, um, if you look at the options, the number of graduates that we, we are uh, producing, so to say, um, and the number of so-called job opportunities um you know that that's available to them it it's it's just proper that we start to talk about um you know business entrepreneurship it's not a cliche it's a reality if you have ever completed school whether it's secondary school technical school or even university and you have ever tried to send your cvs to look for job in accra in kumasi in Sunyai, you know uh, you understand the reality especially if you come from a background where you know there is no uncle there's no father there's no brother anywhere who, who has some big position who has to recommend you and you have to build you know your network and you have to build your and your credibility from the ground uh, the reality will hit you and sometimes maybe your parents your mother your father they use uh, all that they had you know to put you through school and now that you have come out of school they are looking at you know you getting a big job with cars and everything you know so that they will go somewhere and say that you know their son their daughter is very successful and they are even looking up to you taking care of them uh, that is not the situation for many many of us many of us um, we, we will struggle after national service most of in the national service um, when they post you is if you are not a trouble you know so by the time that you is it you when they give you the certificate that's a whole chapter that you have crossed uh, you come out you will see the the, the 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 real life and sometimes it's that much disheartening you know so we talk about these things so that you know that it's doable it's possible the options will not just be look for visa and travel to another country but uh, having the right frame of thinking having the right information having the right mindset and positioning yourself and being ready to work to build your life is is very key and that is what i'm interested in i'm a typical product of that you may think that you know you don't you don't know anybody we didn't know anybody either you may think that you didn't have my you don't have a lot of business skills you didn't have either you know the the thing that we had was the, the you know the, the courage and and the ability to see far to say that this is what we want to do with our lives and um, you know just going and trying uh, and and pushing and and knowing that it eventually will work and the thing about life is that it, most young people worry too much about not succeeding but i've seen that if you give yourself at if you put yourself at anything and you give yourself enough time and you keep pushing eventually you will succeed so there's no point in trying to worry too much especially uh, if it's about business if it's about your finances if it's about career uh, just being able to say that this is what i want to do and then giving you know trying it and and working every day and pushing yourself and learning and and having a strong character you know being courageous building the right kind of network you eventually uh, also see it that's something um, about life if you don't give up <laughs> You succeed and so some steps that you need you have to deal with the mindset the school train you to become an employee the school train you that's why the courses that they gave you in school they were telling you that you know this course is good this was this course is not good because they were looking at the job the job prospects as they call them um, if you cut the job out then every every course is a course so long as you are equipped to deal with life especially with numbers and finance and with good work ethics you know so it's really not about cost so um so long as you can produce something that the generation needs that the market wants you can offer something that people can part with their money uh you are okay you know so deal with that mindset that uh, i went to school i had first class and therefore um somebody must give me an opportunity is somebody must give me a job it's okay if you want a job if you want cleaning job you want to read there are a lot of those jobs the problem is that you would not want to start from that level you would want to have a car and a nice office and show your girlfriend around or, or tell your boyfriend that you are the manager that is a problem 
that is a problem maybe somewhere is okay but for us uh, on the continent in our country Ghana uh, that mindset may not work for a lot of people especially when you come from a background very sober background you know the politicians and their children the preachers and their children the businessmen and their children um their children they will push them somewhere but if you if your parents or your grandparents did not push anything then you must work on your mindset that i went to school i have the grace i've completed it now i want to build something to leave you know i want to leave my life so you must work on that mindset and there's nothing wrong with starting in any area if you don't have any skill set to produce anything that the market wants then start from anything sell anything consider yourself as if you've never been to any school you've never been anywhere and if you didn't complete guesses what would you do with your life you know if you didn't complete senior secondary school what would you do with your life just look at that and then begin from there because what is important is being able to create attraction to start that's where the problem is most people have fizzy ideas they have they want to start everything but focus on what that one thing that you want to start and it doesn't have to be special it doesn't have to be so much even technical just start something that people would want to pad their money with and as you continue to learn as you continue to grow you will know what to do i'm saying that it's not so much complex it's not so much difficult it's not so much something that you can do it's possible all of us can do something if you work on a mindset so put the um, put the certificate somewhere uh, if you have a job with it then don't worry about this but if you have been at home for four years five years through two years three years uh, some of you will even think of going to do msc and going to do phd even though it's not in your plan to become academic even though it's not in your plan to become a lecturer but um, you think that that is the way out if that works for you that is okay but if you want to do something more than that and you are looking for job and nobody is ready to uh, take you on or you have sent everywhere and nobody is trying to connect you anywhere uh, maybe you can start as a cleaner maybe you can start as a security but if that option is not and you want to start something as a business then i'm saying that start from where you are start from where you are and you have to know the skill set that you don't have if you want to start a business your mindset should be different the skill set required for business is different you know you have to know a lot about finance how to create money how to how to organize money how to budget money the discipline required to, is let's say you have five thousand um would you be tempted to change your phone or you'll be tempted to put it in the business or you want to change your shoe the shoe is so nice it's not nice people are laughing at you and you have two thousand would you want to change the shoe or you would want to put it in the business that is something uh, you know, a lot of all your friends are working in the bank and in the communication sector, oil and gas sector. Some of them have a lot of money and a lot of cars. You completed school with them, all, but you're still struggling. How would you keep those relationships? You know, because the relationship you keep is also very key. If you're going to build any business, you have to uh, a lot of the times connect with people who are going where you are going. It's very key. If they are so much obsessed with getting a job and writing CVs and you want to build business, then you have to understand the kind of network they can. Because the, the thing is that your best uh, form of decision will be the kind of network, the kind of people, the kind of friends, the kind of association that you create. Their character, their expertise, the world that they operate in. If you understand that and it, you can't go to where, wherever that you want to go, you will not be there alone. You will need people to encourage you. You need people to connect you. You need people to link you somewhere. And so if you want to build business, then start to connect with people like that. You have to connect with people like that. And is is I said that it's not so if some some people think that oh i know coding i know how to um you know you know i know i, I can use graphic um, you know i can design some things i can build a website i can even build a house i can produce technical skills are okay but those are not enough if you want to build business because there are a lot of people with skills technical skills they can produce everything but they cannot start a business there are a lot of women uh seamstresses there are a lot of people mechanics who can run a very successful mechanic uh business or you know uh teller there are a lot of tailors who cannot run a successful tailor uh, um, um you know uh, tailoring business why because what it takes to uh, sew clothes and what it takes to build a business are not necessarily the same they are world apart and you have to know that's why you can meet a mechanic you say that oh every every boy that i take they don't still they go because his ability to pick the right people and, and train them and develop them 
you know your ability to even organize your finances your business your ability to get the jobs position the business well those are things that you have to learn you have to learn and you have to understand that you are going to do a lot of work and you are going to make a lot of mistakes uh, you are going to go through a lot of pain and you have got to develop the, the spirit to fight back I remember there's a friend who told me that no me I will not I would I will succeed in no time I say okay no problem maybe you are a genius but the way I've seen it even in 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 almost everywhere people who become successful in, in business takes a lot you know they work it takes a lot of momentum it takes a lot of traction it takes a lot of effort become successful and you need to build a very strong mindset you have to be somebody who believes that you're a champion you are, you, are, you are tough you, t you have what it takes to become successful and you have to believe that uh, <laughs> you don't have to talk yourself you know a lot of people talk themselves down a lot of people interpret their inner talkings against themselves you want to build a business you have to be that tough-minded and you have to be very much positive minded it doesn't matter especially the force that it takes for the plane to get to you know to 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 taxi and to in, and to pick is different from the force or the expertise that you need when it has that's already uh, uh, been airborne you know when it, the plane is in in air they can even put it on automatic or something why because it's already guarded you know so the effort that you need to pick any idea from the ground is so different from when the idea is picked that's why you the the people they call businessmen you know some of them are running multinational companies that were not started by them but the effort to start a business and build it into multinational is so different. The skill set to build, to pick a business from the ground up, to hustle, is so different from when the business has been built and everything is okay and you're leading the business. That's why most corporate people and uh, top employees paid well but cannot start a business from the ground up with nothing but just them and, 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 and the ability to, to see far so you have to know that this one requires a lot of effort and you have to uh, virtually re uh, create the content you know and you have to submit yourself to continuous learning you have to continuously learn the other thing you have to look at is the loans that people you know you want to start a business and uh, they say that maybe you have done your analysis say that you need 10,000 but you don't have that 10,000 and nobody wants to give you that money and you have put the idea on hold or you are going to the bank to take a loan to try that 10,000 even if the bank will give you um, it's so likely that you lose that money if it's your, if it's your first business and so I would say that um, look at however you can start that business uh, how small however small it is to a point where when you have had some common sense and when the business is able to work when the business is able to work then you can put a lot of money in but if you have never done anything and you have never tried any business you going for a loan from your friend from your mother from your father from the bank um, it's going to be another lesson for you you're so much likely to lose that money and so start with what you have from where you are with a little as you have and put in a lot of sweat what they call sweat equity pushing because that's what we all did we you know the things that we did that we put in a lot of sweat equity those things eventually we gathered a lot of expertise a lot of courage we were able to understand the techniques that will make those businesses work the ones that we took money from people and pushing eventually became toxic and became destructive because you were spending money that we had never made we're spending we're, we're making decisions you know it's like you pushing money to some people you know they will just make any serious decisions and just all that the decisions that you will make will be just to spend the money but when you are you when you don't have much and you have got to be that much resourceful that's where you you are able to build a skill set that will take you a long a lifetime to build that business and so what you really need is not just the, the business starting to make money per se but the abilities you you developing the skill set the expertise needed as an entrepreneur to pick an idea and continue to grow it you know your ability to pick the right talent and train them your ability to understand the market and what the people want your ability to keep going when things are down to handle the money well to pay your debt 
you know to promise and deliver and not try to lie some people start business you know and things become complex become complicated and uh, they will push they will put their phone off you know maybe you owe somebody because of the business you didn't owe anybody before you going into business now you owe somebody because somebody disappointed you and the person you owe is asking you for the money and uh, it's become war don't be afraid pick the call talk to them some of them will fight you some of them will threaten you some of them will insult you but it's part of it is is the business you know if you don't want business then don't go if you don't want trouble then don't go into business you have to have that you cannot love yourself so much and be so much you know protective of yourself if you want to do something significant with your life especially if you want to pick an idea and turn into into business you know so my name is open I today I'm talking about some of the steps that you need to build a business some of the steps that you need to build a business the internet has changed a lot of things the internet is helping uh, but uh, I mean they cannot teach you how to drive in in the classroom alone at a point you may you, you would have to pick the key go and spark the car and be on the road with the potential you know with the potential or with the tendency that you can get an accident you know hurt yourself somebody can cross you you must gather the courage and drive and meet all the big cars you know make mistakes hit somebody that is how you learn how to drive you can't just say that they have taught me they have taught me everything in the classroom and so I'm okay you must hit the ground so really the game is played on the ground the game is played on the ground and so until you do it you don't have a business and business they say is about risk taking you know you are not sure of where to go but you just have to gather the momentum and say that let me be resolved that you know this thing can go anywhere but i'm ready to learn and i'm ready to learn and i'm ready to learn a lot some most you know in some economies that where you pick the idea you're able to you know took through the idea try it and then they will come and you know give you some money in our kind of environment uh, you have to make sure that the business is organic the business is self-financing the business uh, to a certain limit the idea is working before even if you want to put somebody's money in you put somebody money somebody's money in because you can easily uh, lose you know the, the grip of the business because you are using a lot of these foreign way of doing business and that's why most people who live abroad come here want to start business start to get frustrated because the model that they are bringing and what we have here the environment and what works the way the people think the way the culture works the way you yourself you drag yourself you're depending on a lot of structures that you have to you know to do more for, to get those structures to get you what you want is entirely different culture you must understand what works here and we have a, whole, a generation that have, have even been born in ghana but they, they, what they have used to train them for instance those who did business in, in the university or those who did mba a lot of the things that they have taught you and what really works on the ground when you go to meet antiochia and you deliver the so-called uh, you know the, the yoga that you have produced her understanding will be different and he, her kind are the people you are going to deal with so it's not so much about you trying to say i want to build a brand i want to make it nice look at where the volume is then the people who need your product understand what they have the, the 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 money that they can spend understand how they think how they see things understand the culture understand the culture of the market that you want to serve it's not about you especially when you don't have a lot of money you can say that they should come to my level okay maybe if you have money you can then you know lift them but if you don't have money serve them at the level that they are and when things are working maybe you can then you'll be talking about those days. I remember when we were in school, a lot of our choir, choir I mean, a lot of, we had a lot of wonderful uh, singers in our choir. But when you come out, you see that the people who are making names in terms of songs are people who understand the culture. And most of them did not go to some, they don't even sing as precise in court as you know they don't even play the keyboard as we would say. They have the market, why? Because they understand what the people want. So you have to understand what the people want. You can start in construction, you can start in agribusiness, you can start in retail, you can start in IT businesses, you can start in any form of business. But look at the people that you say, uh, the people you call informer, look at them and bring a lot of organization, a lot of management, a lot of dis uh, discipline and a lot of delivery to that market you succeed. And you need to be very much um, 
tough on yourself to say that if you say you are going to deliver then you deliver don't be so much interested in just uh, putting your interest first you don't do anything for free you don't want to lose anything you don't want to make any mistake you are the perfect i've met some people who have ever you know they ask you for a job maybe especially the it boys you know they want to design a website for you they want to do some software for you and it's all about them and when they are talking to you they don't listen to you they want to teach you they want to tell you what they can do they want to tell you what you need they want to tell you all they, they want to explain it. they eventually talk to you like you you don't even understand anything when I see that, I see that you never, you're not going to succeed in your business. Because you are going to succeed by understanding the person that you want to serve. And they are very, they are way, way off. <laughs> and they are very aggressive with their money. And if you behave like that, you will fail. Because you are going to pick something from the ground you have never done before. And so you're going to, you know, when you are starting, it's like the child is starting to walk. They will fall. And so for the failing, it's part of it. And uh, you have to really uh, stretch yourself to study, read, study constantly, study. And don't bring a lot of superstition in, 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 in interpreting the, the, the failures and the errors that you make. It's an error. If you know better, you, you, you will do better. And so the more you know better, the, the better your life, the better your decisions, and the better the results. If you can teach yourself that, to look at things that way, it's so likely that you carry the stress. You will be able to carry the stress. But when you have a thinking that anything that does not work, it means that some demon somewhere is trying to kill you, or some witchcraft from your family is responsible for the failure. Um, no, in this life, 99% of the things that happen, uh, they, are, they come from good decisions or bad decisions. If you make right decisions, a lot of your things will be right. If you make if you make bad decisions, a lot of your things will be wrong. It's as simple as that. A lot we understand life from where you stand. Where we stand is where we understand life. Your ability to understand clearly and make right choices and decisions will show the progress, the successes. You know, and that's why the mistakes will come because then you are trying to clear your mind to make you are trying to, all this that you're doing is to get to a point where your decisions will start to make sense. And that's why you fail. Like the child is walking. It gets to a point that he's able to build the capacity to make the right decisions, the, the capacity to stand and walk. The same. You start to walk, you fall because you don't have the muscle, you don't have the strength, you don't have the capacity. You're not able to make the right decisions and support them. You know, so it gets to a point things start to work. But I said that you must believe in yourself. You must believe in the country as well. You must be very positive in dealing. Uh, you cannot be so... Um, paranoid and negative people will disappoint you but deal with individuals based on individual i mean deal with people based on individual basis don't so much extrapolate don't so much uh, you know go and you know, extend it to others because somebody else did look at them study their tendencies but give everybody chance and and go small and test them small if you want to do business with somebody and the ten is hundred thousand and you're so not sure why don't you start with thousand you know, if the person proves himself, you can increase it to 5,000. With time, you may know that this guy is able to deliver, therefore I can give him. But you just start and give everything to him and you have never dealt with him and he starts to frustrate you. And then you say that everybody is no good. No, it's, it's the decision pattern that you took. It's the decision, your ability to make the right decision at the right time. You know, so um, these are key things that you must pay attention to. So if you're a young man, pay attention to these things. There's nothing wrong going into business. Um, it doesn't matter the course that you take. Just go there, study, learn. And just like anybody who becomes an expert in anything, it will take time for you to become successful as, a, as an entrepreneur. Sometimes you look back in the errors, the blunders, you say, that, oh, why did I make them? But you could not make them to this point if you had not made those decisions. You know, Because it depends on where you are lifting yourself from. If you are stuck in the mud, <laughs> <laughs> and they pick you by is the bad will be on you. you know, they have to put water and train you. So the training is the one trying to wash you to get a point where you, they can look at you nicely. <laughs> so um, my name is Obin Dako. Um, yes. um, we are building a new generation of Africans who want to do business and, and do business uh, uh, patriotically and, and create opportunities. The wealth we must lead, the wealth creation. The wealth creation of any countries in our, you know, any of our countries in Africa must be led by business people who are honest, who I think are not not the wealthy. The wealthiest or the wealthiest in our communities should be people who are solving economic problems, and that's what we are looking at. So I want to say thank you very much for taking your time to watch this. Thank you.